back in the 90s, you know, you, you all remember you had to hire a webmaster to build a web page and they had to maintain it and it was expensive. And, and so the bigger companies all had their, their webmasters, but small businesses didn't have it. Fast forward to today, you can just click and put together a website, but there's strangely not less demand for people building or tweaking websites. You know, there are specialists who are tweaking WordPress, et cetera. So my sense is that like, as long as technology is still spreading across the world, we will still see a demand rise and it's technology is still not everywhere. And I'm kind of thinking that we might see a little, little bit different until now it's kind of gone into big tech and, you know, like these amazing positions where, which pay very well and generate a lot of value. But here I am sitting, you know, frustrated with my utility company, for example, how right. just awkward it is to pay or public transport. Uh, again, like the technology is there, but it's not particularly good. So I wonder what might happen if we see a lot of technology and technologists and good software engineers end up at these places as well. Maybe, you know, work conditions improve, compensation improves, and our kind of quality of life improves. Because I'll be honest, my quality of life is not really driven by Facebook or Netflix. It's kind of driven by the more mundane thing, how easy it is to reach the local council. Why can I not this do this online? And so I, I wonder if, if that, that part of like these businesses that are still not really digital, are we going to see in the next 10 years a boom there of software, maybe AI assisted going there? And obviously software engineers building that. So I, I'm kind of optimistic that that's mm -hmm. going to happen. You know, AI makes everyone more productive. And so small businesses, for example, small businesses until now building an app, how much did it cost? I don't know, like $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 to build a custom app. It was not affordable for a lot of small businesses. My trainer at the gym was telling me he really wants to build this app. He's got this dream of doing it. He cannot afford it. All these people might might be able to do it through, again, like a, a little, little bit what happened with websites, you know, becoming point and click. It might mm -hmm. happen with all sorts of apps. So I think it'll be super uh, interesting, exciting. There There will be demand increasing in a lot of these areas. I don't know about the rest, but, you know, so far, I'm not seeing it slow down. I, I think. However, one thing I will say, this is the first time I'm seeing software engineers becoming worried about our jobs. Until mm -hmm. now, let's just be honest. Like what we did is we kind of automated other people's jobs, right? Like customer support. Like in every single company, customer support teams have been going down in, in headcount. As software engineers, you know, not me, but I, I saw teams at Uber, we were building more and more efficient ways to, to do it, adding machine learning, adding kind of helpful tools. So one human could serve more people and you know like we were very proud of this and it was cost saving and now is the first time where software engineer are asking like am i going to automate myself out of a job and i hope the answer is no but we've never asked this question before mm. so i think this is a big big change